How do I pronounce this? Matfer Bourja. Matfer Blubla. Matfer. Matfer. Bourja. Bourja. Matfer Bourja. Matfer Blubla. Good Thursday. More carbon steel. Why? The return of Misen. We'll get to that in a minute, okay? I promise. Matfer Bougeau. Matfer Bla Blue. Why did I want to get a Matfer Bla Blue? For one, it was 2864 shipped. Just as a note, the Bell V, 8 and a 5 eighths inch pan, used to be like 24, it is now 32.95. The Matfer Blue Bla is cheaper than the Bell V Chinese. And it doesn't have rivets. It is rivet free. Let's take a look. And it's very, it's quite heavy. I didn't know the weight. This is quite heavy. I thought we would season our Matt Fair Blue Blah and our Mason today. Well, we'll get to the Mason. Looks very nice. First thing we have to do is test Test its flatness. Good price for this pan. Oh, it's perfectly flat. There you go, Matt Fair Blue Blanc. That is perfectly flat. Very good. My Bill V's are flat. I had trouble with the Meeson. Looks like there are some scratches in there. We're going to scrub the hell out of this. I can feel the coating. On Amazon, people have trouble with this coating. There's a video on MacFair website, and the woman just says, soapy water with a light scrubby. Some people say use rubbing alcohol. Some people don't have trouble at all. We'll find out. No rivets. The rivets on the Bellevue are huge and they get in the way if I want to put a little lid on here. The handle is is rough, which is fine. It's got texture, which is fine for grip. Much heavier than I thought it would be. It's a very nice looking pan. Let's take a look at the Meeson and then we're going to talk seasoning. You may or may not remember I made a bad video about Meeson because I discovered it was warped. I've since taken that video down because they did honor their warranty. I got this a couple of months ago. It's been sitting on the floor. So we're giving Meeson another chance. And we've got our our paperwork. I know the first one I did you heat the oven to 400, place it upside down, and uh, it melts the wax off. Okay. The return of Meeson. They honored their warranty. Let's see if it's warped. Oh, there's a warp. There's a bit of a warp. It's not as bad as the first one. All right, well, this is not going back. We're gonna keep it or give it away. Here's my Bell V, my Bell V 12 and a half inch. This is the one pan that I've been seasoning naturally. I love this pan. I know I made a video where I said I hate carbon steel. That was true at that very moment because if you season it, several times in the oven and it looks beautiful amber. You don't have pools of oil. You've done it very well. Then you cook a hamburger and it just peels up. Or you cook a steak and it just peels up upon cleaning with hot water. These are not like cast iron. Cast iron is cast in a mold. It's much more porous. Cast iron is much more likely to hold on to that seasoning if you just wipe it on and bake it. These are made from sheet steel. 
when you put oil on there and you bake it in the oven, the oil sitting on top is likely to pull off. That's when I decided to season this naturally, and I have not been disappointed. I don't use it that often. I cook hamburgers. I have been using it for corned beef hash. It's great for corned beef hash. I can put the corned beef hash in while the pan is cold. Bring it up to heat and let it fry. And that corned beef hash pretty much slides right off the pan. I love this pan now. Season naturally. That's what we're going to do with the mise and the Matfer Bleu Blanc. We are going to put these in the oven one round. Wipe the oil on. Wipe the oil off completely just to get a little coating on the bottom and the sides. If the sides were lower on this, I might not stick it in the oven. But the oven will give me a little bit of a protective coating on the sides, and then we're going to scrub out the center. I know! In all my seasonings, even if the seasoning looks gorgeous, I found it's not as slick as if you start from scratch. When someone says on the forums, season it naturally, just cook with it, I agree with them. In fact, you probably don't have to do one round in the oven, because as you cook with it, it will start to, to brown. But like I said, these sides are so high, it wouldn't hurt to give it one round in the oven. Let's try and get the coating off this. That's, that's one. Down.
let's see what we got. That's pretty. That's one. That's a nice start. Handle turned nice and dark and I didn't do anything to it. The trick is to remove the seasoning without taking too much of this away because Barkeeper's Friend, if it touches it, it may remove it. Let's do one at a time. There's a method to this madness. You have to trust me. Trust me! Just a little bit of Barkeeper's Friend. And just a little bit of damp Brillo pad. Okay? And it's just going to come right off. Don't even have to go right to the edge. Dab of water. Just a dab of water. Very nice. Almost there, almost there. Nice circle. I think we're good. Let's wash it. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. We have to do one more thing to this pan before we can cook on it. Maybe 10 to 15 things. Let's do the mason. I'm just saying. All right, next step. You need a can of Pam. Not to smoking. We're gonna heat the Pam. Spray it with Pam. Wipe it out. Paper towel is likely to be dirty. We're gonna heat it up again. Spray it with Pam. Wipe it out. We're gonna do that until the paper towel is no longer dirty. And then we're ready to cook. This could take 10 to 15 times. Then you can cook an egg and it won't be dirty. There is one caveat to this method. You can use ghee or oil, but if you use butter, there's water content in butter and the eggs may be a little dirty underneath. Less likely after we've done all the pan work, but it's possible. So I would recommend not using butter for a while until you've gotten the bottom a little bit more seasoned naturally. We're not going for a smoking point. All right, let's give it a shot of Pam. Just gonna let it warm up. Ball your paper towel inside another paper towel. It keeps your hand away from the pan. Let's wipe the sides, it can't hurt. Look at that. Now, since the pan is warm, let's do it one more time. Clean one. It's a little gray. And take it off the heat. Let's do the mason. I use pan because of the viscosity. It's like the WD-40 of cooking oils. It'll soak in. That's good. Wipe it down. Dirty towel. Dirty towel. Not too bad, though. Off the heat. 
let it cool, repeat. Done. Mm. Whoa. Mm. And so it begins, our Misen natural seasoning. Thanks for joining me this Friday. You know what I'm gonna say. Thanks for watching. <laughs>